Hi, I'm Dennis. Welcome to the studio. If you remember the last video that uh, we shot, I was working on this Buckeye Burl table. I finished the table at this point. So I just want to tell you a little bit about the finishing process, my design process on this. Now in the last video, we talked about how to manually achieve points and create the geometry for the cutouts, how I machine them in and glue them in. Now if you notice on the table, there is some small voids left. That was by design because I really wanted to show the exposed leg joint on the base of the table. Now when you're dealing with a small round table like this, three legs are always better than four. The reason for that is everybody's been to a restaurant and had to stick a matchbook or some napkins under the table leg to keep it from wobbling. Nice thing about a three-legged uh, stool or a three-legged table, it never wobbles. With this table, is it convenient? Probably not. I would probably put a glass top on here because the dust and get into all these little parts is going to be quite difficult, but that's not what design is. I'm going to take this experience from doing this table and I will take what I've learned to the next project. Is it practical? Probably not, but it looks really good. Now with the finishing, I've done two different things. The top is left fairly natural. What I used on the top was a hard wax oil finish. There's lots of little nooks and crannies in here. So I basically brushed it on and wiped off whatever I could. And even up to the very last coat of finish that I put on the top, I pulled a rock out from underneath because this is a root burl that grows underground and it's always picking up dirt and rocks and things like that. So the cleaning of this was very tedious. This probably would have been better as an epoxy filled table, but I wanted to do something different and it seems as though everybody's doing epoxy tables. On the base, this is white ash. If you look back on the previous video, you will see that the ash is actually snow white. So what I did is I put on an intense black aniline dye, which I wiped on, let it dry, and then I put the same finish as the top, but in a black version to seal the base. So the base has three coats of black Osmo oil, is Rubio Intense Black dye. And on the top, we're using Osmo Flat Clear. This root burl is cut like a cookie, so across the diameter of the tree. Basically, most of this is all end grained and it took a lot of material because the end grain here, Buckeye is a very soft hardwood. And it, when I put the finish on, as soon as I put it on in certain spots, particularly in here, the oil and hard wax disappeared because it got absorbed into the grain. I think on this table, you know, to put on a glass top so you're not always fidgeting in here, trying to clean it, is probably a good idea whoever ends up with the table but I like the way the table turned out and I can see the structure underneath I can see the voids and I can ex see the exposed joinery I hope you enjoyed the last video and this one to show the, the final product if you like this video please comment and subscribe and feel free to leave any comments below see you next time